but there's one good thing. We're near a cemetery. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. All they do is live off others and never say anything pleasant. We're looking at the murder mansion, or maniac mansion. Have it your own way, I warned you. The film starts with its disparate cast passing each other on a lonely road. <laughs> Which is a nice introduction because this is a film of apparently chance meetings. Well, this is why you have a car over a bike, but... This happens to every woman hitchhiking in a 70s movie. How do you make out? Badly. He's one of those rotten people who thinks he owns you just because he gives you a ride. So Laura trades up. That's what you think. But she and biker Fred get onto a bad road. Well, that just can't be a good sign. Right. But I'm sure it's... <laughs> Crashed and lost in the fog with the Grim Reaper and a woman he's only just met, there's only one thing Fred can do. Because this is an Italian film, as you can see from this scene of Ernest discussing his wife with his mistress. We were happy together. I hope that one day we will be again. Well, you're certainly doing your bit. And she denies you your conjugal rights. Fred and Laura aren't the only ones struggling in the fog. Ernest's wife, Elsa, also crashes and stumbles into a creepy graveyard, complete with spectral figures. Oh, you are. Leave me alone. The three meet and find their way to the only house in the area. You're blinding me with that flashlight. Hey, it's the pervy guy from earlier, Mr. Porter. No hard feelings. I keep having the sensation that we've crossed the frontier between the real and the unreal. He, along with Mr. and Mrs. Tremont, are also seeking shelter from the mansion's owner. The fog isn't usually this enveloping. The beautiful yet creepy Martha. <laughs> whose aunt and chauffeur died in that graveyard amidst rumours of witchcraft. She was a witch, so they say. And vampirism. Do you think the vampire was her aunt? They are given rooms for the night, which is kind, but the artwork in the guest room is... Elsa is understandably nervous and has suffered from anxiety since the death of her father. He was in his daughter's bed with a young girlfriend of hers from college when he died. Sounds pretty Italian. It was a scandal for months. But why? Yes, why would that be a scandal? We meet Dad via a flashback, and he doesn't disappoint. I don't usually sleep with my daughter's college friends. At least, not many. <laughs> Five or six, maybe, just to be polite. Your preoccupation with little girls. Oh, that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fred and Laura have also come over all Italian. Fred always keeps his roll neck jumper on during sex. And Mr. Porter, having struck out with Laura earlier, now takes a swing at Elsa. I don't want your whiskey or your company. Go away. But I... Get out of here. Swing and a miss. Get out. I never bother with women who despise men. Did he say despise men or despise me? who despise men. Because if it's the latter, that really narrows the field. It's idiotic. Now, you may have noticed something. I want to find out what's going on here. I have no idea what he's talking about. A bunch of people have been lost in the fog. Nothing else has happened. I'm not trying to scare you. It's just that I'm trying to get to the bottom of this goddamn mystery. Yeah, saying it won't make it so. But things change when Mr. Porter goes for third time lucky. Miss Clinton, can I come in? This time, the rejection is kind of final. <laughs> uh. 
Then stuff starts happening. There's a very effective jump shock. <laughs> Another death. <laughs> and the return of the chauffeur. <laughs> and it's all very creepy. But... I hate to change the subject. Here's how a Dark Corners review works. I watch the film and write my first draft. Then, a week later, I watch it again and tighten the review. This is the first time in 10 years that on that second viewing I have had to draw a flowchart to keep track of who the characters are, how they relate to each other, and why any of this is happening. Now do you understand? Ish. I have a better idea of who. Still vague on why. And how a plan that seems to hinge on people getting lost in the fog was ever supposed to work. It worked perfectly. It's really hard to enjoy a film when you feel like you should be taking notes because there might be a test at the end of it. I'd prefer not to talk about it. Speaking of the ending, Fred and Laura speed to safety. <laughs> leaving carnage behind them. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this ending is that the filmmakers seem to have forgotten that there is another character still alive upstairs who has slept through all of this and a few hours later is going to wake, come downstairs and go, what the hell happened here? <gasps> Thanks for watching. For new bad movie reviews every Tuesday, subscribe here. What movies, good or bad, have completely confused you? Let us know in the comments below. Oh my heavens. What's the matter with Mr. Porter? He's dead.